Yo, what's going on guys? Shana from Rock Pilot Sound, and in this video, we're going to be creating a sound similar to the basses in Virtual Ride's track, Dragons, and this is what it sounds like. So, really sick sound here. This sound is actually taken straight from our brand new pack, Elevated Bass for Serum, and it's available now. There's 100 Serum presets, 100 wavetables, and two bonus packs included that you could go ahead and download for free with your purchase. So literally the best serum pack on the market i'm not gonna lie here guys everyone that has looked at it already has already told me it is the best on the market and they're going to be using it in their tracks you know zeta uh, nasco b-sides anyways uh yeah this is the base and i'm gonna go ahead and play a quick little demo just of the main pack All right, guys, so that's just a quick clip from our very long demo that you can go ahead and check out the full thing on our site. It's a really, really awesome song as a whole, and I highly encourage you guys to check it out because even if you're just checking out the whole packet itself, you guys can get a 60-day money-back refund because I want to make sure that you guys are receiving value from me, okay? So it's value 100% approved. All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into the sound. Uh, yeah, so one thing that you guys have probably been realizing in my later tutorials is that we've been doing a lot with basic shapes here And I've really been putting a big emphasis on the complete power that you actually can do or the not power you that you can do But I mean uh, the intensity and the great effect that um, Running frequency modulation between two basic shapes actually has so we're gonna be doing a very similar thing with this sound again uh, as I was saying, a lot of professionals have been doing this a lot lately. So first things first, we're going to just turn on oscillator A, oscillator B, and our sub oscillator. And we're going to be, to create this plucky sound, we're going to first drop the level of our sub, and we're going to stick on our LFO1 on here, and just to start off with the sub here. And we can leave that at 100%. Um, here we're just going to go ahead and create this little plucky form. It's really up to you, whatever you guys want. We could do this, or we can do this whatever you want, trigger, and we'll put this on triplets, and we'll put that 1 16th triplets. So we get, can't really hear it because it is a sign, and it's not really being outputted too well since we're in the lower frequencies. Uh, we are going to go ahead and cl click direct out, so the sub isn't gonna be affected by the effects that we are gonna put onto the sound. So anyways, uh, oscillator A, we're gonna go ahead and choose basic shapes, as well as oscillator B. Um, oscillator A, we're going to drop the level, and oscillator B as well. Now, the only difference here is that oscillator A's level will be modulated by LFO1 as well. And um, so oscillator A is going to be the host for our frequency modulation, obviously, if the sound is going to be outputted through it. So we're going to go ahead and choose FM from B. And now we get, as we start to turn off the frequency modulation. Okay. Doesn't sound good right now, but hear me out, hear me out. Uh, so right now, at this point, we're just running two signs uh, through frequency modulation. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna change these both to triangle waves. I know that triangle waves can sound very similar to signs, but take a listen once we put it on to our frequency modulation. You can really hear the difference here. Turn up the octaves, up four. So that way we are generating a very, very metallic-y effect here. Uh, once again, I'll put these down to signs. Sounds almost like a gettery type bass right now. Anyways, into the filter, we are just going to turn on our combs. Uh, we're in the flanges, I'm pretty sure. No, we're in the miscellaneous combs. Okay. So the combs here, we're just going to make sure it's turned on for oscillator A. There's no reason it shouldn't be, but you know, just the basics here. Um, we're going to turn this up to, let's say, um, 1,600 hertz. And we're going to turn on our LFO one onto here once again. And we are going to make it draw backwards about 27, 25 points here. Um, so that way we're just stretching back. And as we go back, once again, this was before. We're starting to create that really, really squeechy, squeechy, what the heck? That's not a word. Um, screechy sound, but it's like squeaky at the same time. I think that's what I was going for. I just invented a new word, squeechy. Um, that's what we're gonna be using for the rest of this video here. Yeah, so just boost the resonance. And that's just going to enhance the filter and uh, really just increase the 
overall amount of presence that it has here. And anyways, into the uh, effects here, we're gonna turn on our hyper and dimension. And now, first, first things first, hyper just goes down a bit, and then dimension, you already know the deal here, low size, high mix. All right, so the flanger, this is a really nice tool for this, or for bases like this, you know, these high pitch metallic -y bases. Um, what you can do here, turn the rate all the way down, um, and then we could turn the depth, turn it to whatever um, frequency really collides with the sound perfectly and makes a nice sweet spot. Right there sounds a, sounds pretty good, and we could just leave that mix up. So once again, it's really subtle, but it does add in some extra frequencies up top, and it does kind of make the sound better. Um, we could add in a chorus if we really wanted to. Uh, it doesn't change the effect of the sound that much, but you know, uh, we're gonna turn the mix all the way up. Turn up our low pass filter all the way. We could either change it to a high pass and turn it down, or we can turn it to a low pass, turn it all the way up here, and we can just drop this right down to zero hertz. Now we're just going to drop this depth to about 2.8 milliseconds, and we are just going to modulate that with LFO1. So we are changing the um, the amount of time to which this uh, this feedback is, or what the heck, not the feedback, this chorus, um, or not the time. Oh my gosh, I just confused myself. We are changing the rate or the light or the density. I'm sorry, guys. Like the depth or the density, um, the intensity of the sound, you know, overall. And you know, it doesn't create that big of an effect here, but you know, it is um, just kind of creating a nice sound here. Um, when we do turn on the compressor and the multi man. Uh, we are going to be able to hear that effect a lot better. The effect that it does make, it just kind of makes a sliding sound. Almost when you modulate the um, the reverb, cut, uh, the reverb filters cut off, you know, it does the same kind of deal here. Um, now, anyways, we're going to move into our EQ. Okay, we're actually going to bump our EQ before the compressor. And all we're going to do here is just turn up the gains of these two um, these two slopes here and we're going to both select these to these peak filter or these peak slopes um, not these just gains here and uh, we're just going to start off by turning this frequency at about what is that 2600 Hertz and we're gonna be dropping it down to quite a bit here so we're going moving back into like the 1000 section at first at first this isn't sounding too good but hear me out guys because um, we still have to modulate our second slope okay anyways we're gonna go ahead and then we're just going to leave this here and we're going to make it go backwards into around was that the 900s or 800s turn that gain down 19.2 we could even gain this compressor and that's all it takes to make this base guys um, yeah, that's actually a really simple bass. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you guys like the sound because I enjoy teaching you guys. I know that I got a little confused there for a second in that co course because uh, I was just thinking about like my math equation today that I had to do in class and I got a little disfocused, but uh, <laughs> what the heck? I'm sorry guys, that normally doesn't happen. I'm Shane from Rockabout Sound and I'll see you guys in the next one.